Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rich Bradley, President of the Board of Public Service. This is the regular meeting of the Board of Public Service for Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. This is a public meeting and there are no lettings or no hearings today. So I would ask that only members of this board be allowed to speak unless recognized by myself or the secretary. At this time, I'll ask the secretary to please call the roll. Director Coyle. Present. Director Davis. Present. Director Hayes is excused. Director Pearson. Present. Director Scobie is excused. Director Williams. Present. President Bradley. Present, we have a quorum. I will call this meeting order. Regular business. From the president, recommendation that approval be given as follows. Item one. An ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor and the comptroller of the city of St. Louis to execute a contract for sale of real estate to accept a deed to certain real property located in city block 2017 owned by American River Transportation Company, LLC, and to execute a deed to ARCO for certain city owned property located in city block 2709. Item two. Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality Agreement, CMAQ-9901, by and between the Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission and the City of St. Louis to authorize funding of projects providing for congestion mitigation and air quality. Item three, plans and specifications for letting number 8763 Renovations to Marquette Park maintenance building at an estimated cost of $233,590.50, authorized by ordinance 71656 and funded by Parks Ward Capital Fund. Item four, plans and specifications for letting number 8764, concrete and brick removal, replacement and complete sidewalk installation, SP-118 at an estimated cost of $900,000, authorized and funded by ARPA Fame 1969. Item five, receipt of payment and scope of work for additional work to letting number 8755, Forest Park Bowl Lake Pavilion Project. A receipt of payment and scope of work from Forest Park Forever in the amount of $15,865 to be applied toward additional work of furnishing and installing 18 boulders for the Forest Park Bowl Lake Pavilion project. Item six, receipt of payment and scope of work for construction of bridge repairs to Lafayette Bridge inside Forest Park. A receipt of payment and scope of work for Forest Park Forever in the amount of $250,000 to be applied toward construction of the bridge repairs. Grand Drive over River De Pairs project commonly known as Lafayette Bridge inside Forest Park. Item seven, supplemental agreement number 11 to PSA number 1248, architectural and engineering services, expansion and modernization of Cervantes Convention Center with Fentress Architects in the amount of $117,912.86. This supplemental agreement is amended to modify the scope of work and is authorized by ordinance 70883. From the Office of Special Events, request the following to be approved subject to certain conditions. There are five special events to be declared as festival zones. One, SOS, Save Our Community Radio Station, Art and Music Festival will take place on Illinois Avenue between Arsenal and Wyoming Street, October 21st, 2023, at 12 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 10 a.m. and end by 10 p.m. Number two, Diamond Diva Domestic Violence Awareness Rally will take place on Manchester Avenue between Hemp and Sarah, October 21st, 2023, at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 8 a.m. and end by 4 p.m. Number three, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer will take place starting at Union Station, north on 18th Street, East on Market, north on 15th Street, west on Chestnut, south on 18th and Clark, ending at Union Station, October 21st at 7.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. 
Set up a teardown will start at 5 a.m. and end by 11 a.m. Number four, Sumner High School homecoming will take place on Cottage between A. Malone and Billups on October 21st, 2023 at 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Number five, Cherokee Street Jazz Crawl will take place oh. on Iowa, Ohio, and Texas okay. adjacent to Cherokee Street November 4, 2023 at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Set up a teardown will start at 7 a.m. and end by 10 p.m. From the Director of Parks, Recreation, and Forestry, recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131915, request from Washington University School of Medicine to fly a drone in the green space between Cricket Field and Forest Park Parkway and the and the green space at Langenberg Field to get a view of the campus in relation to the park. From the Director of Public Utilities, recommendation that the board declares as emergency action the following. Item one, all labor, parts, and equipment to perform repairs to a malfunctioning 36-inch discharge cone valve located at the Howard Bend Water Treatment Plant. This work is required to restore wear items such as bearing bushing, bushings back to like new conditions. The estimated cost of this work is $37,000. Item two, replace failing stairways in the Chain of Rocks filter plant. This work is required to replace two steel staircases in the filter plant aluminum stairs. The estimated cost of this work is $20,000. Item three, Facility cleaning at 1640 Kings Highway. This is necessary to reimburse the previous cleaning company since the new contract with a different cleaning company was not fully executed. The estimated cost of this work is $10,400. Item four, make body and frame repairs to crew truck 240-415. The estimated cost for this work is $30,096.75. From the Director of Streets, recommendation that the following be approved, subject to certain conditions. Item one, application number 131877, request from Rockstar Taco, LLC, doing business as Rockstar Taco, to encroach with five 18-inch tables and 10 chairs for Sidewalk Cafe, utilizing 200 square feet with liquor at 4916 Shaw Avenue. Item two, Application number 131879, request from Lux Dreamland to encroach with tables and chairs for a sidewalk cafe utilizing 150 square foot at 1000 Washington Avenue, Unit 101. Item three, application number 131889, request from Sweet Art LLC to encroach with four 18 inch tables and eight chair and 10 chairs for a sidewalk cafe utilizing 144 square feet with liquor at 2203 South 39th Street. Application number 131901, request from Pub Park LLC to encroach with six tables and 22 chairs for Sidewalk Cafe, utilizing 546 square foot with liquor at 3157 Morgan Ford Road. Recommendation that the following be denied. Application number 131890, request from Fierce Fusion, LLC, doing business as Zypher, to encroach with tables and chairs for a sidewalk cafe at 6400 Oakland Avenue due to a lack of adequate sidewalk space to safely put tables and chairs and still maintain four feet of open, unobstructed walkway. From the Directors of Public Safety and Utilities, Joint recommendation that the following be approved, subject to certain conditions. Request from Farm Work Architectures to consolidate the lots at 1100 through 1118 Montgomery Street and 2615 North 11th Street into one parcel in City Block 360. Request from William Tolbert to consolidate two adjacent lots at 1318 Lamy Street and 2338 R South 18th Street in City Block 803. Request from Randy Midiki to subdivide two buildings at 2425 and 2427 Menard Street 
and 1035 Victor Street and City Block 816. Request from CC Sedlick Properties, LLC, to consolidate the lot at 1631 South Broadway and City Block 396. From the Directors of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131902, request from Union Electric doing business as Emory, Missouri, to install open trench conduit from existing manhole near 424 South Boyle, running south to 449 South Boyle and west down the metro right of way to tie into existing conduit. Joint recommendation that one application from AT&T be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 00165 for 5015 Hall Street. From the Director of Public Safety, we have five conditional use permits subject to certain conditions. Good afternoon, Mr. President and members of the board. My name is Steve Narr, I'm a uh, zoning plan examiner for the city of St. Louis representing the building commissioner for order uh, number 766 transmitted here with our recommendations for the following conditional use uh, agenda applications. Approval is recommended for five applications, 3939 Maffitt Avenue, 5512 Winona Avenue, 4701 South Kings Highway Boulevard, Unit B, 12 and a half South Euclid Avenue, and 2750 Gravoy Avenue. Thank you, Steve. Are there any questions or comments on today's conditional uses? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. So move, Davis. Thank, Thank you, Coyle. William. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle? Aye. Director Davis? Aye. Director Pearson? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. Today's conditional uses are approved. I'd like to turn your attention to our meeting minutes from last Tuesday, October 3rd, 2024. Are there any questions or comments on the meeting minutes as presented? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. Motion to approve, Davis. Second, Coyle. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle? Aye. Director Davis? Aye. Director Pearson? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. The minutes are approved. Today's agenda, are there any questions or comments on today's BPS meeting agenda? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. Motion to approve, William. Second. Second. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle? Aye. Director Davis? Aye. Director Pearson? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. Today's agenda is approved. Thank you. Any comments or questions from any of our board directors? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. So motion to adjourn, Coyle. All right, I got a motion from Director Coyle. Is there a second? Second, Pearson. Thank you, Director. Um, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you all. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>